The actor David Jason reflects on his career, telling us about his hopes, his regrets, and why he can never escape from Del Boy. Meanwhile, it is now more than 40 years since the nation was first introduced to the wheeler dealer Derek Trotter, Del Boy, in the hit BBC series Only Fools and Horses, which made David Jason a very famous name. Absolutely. That character became known for his catchphrases, his one-liners, one of which, of course, has inspired his new candid memoir. It's called This Time Next Year. And I went to meet him to talk about that, his message of positivity. And we had a chat in the hotel room, a very lovely stately home oh. near where he lives, which is where he goes and does all his writing. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> The theme that you keep coming back to in the book is that you feel immensely lucky in life. And brace yourself, Rodney. Brace yourself. <laughs> if you can find a job that you really enjoy doing and it pays your wages to, to, to live properly, or to live, then you're 100% there in life. It's a couple of years since we last met and chatted on breakfast. And just after we met, you received what you describe in the book as the most astonishing letter you've ever received in your life. Take us to that moment when you open the envelope and talk us through where it's led to in your life. Well, yeah, it was a letter that took me by surprise. And it was from a daughter that I didn't know that I had. and. Uh, it was a tremendous shock, but uh, we've since been meeting and getting together and uh, we're fine, we're lovely. We're getting to know each other, which is, uh, takes a bit of time, but no, she's great and uh, it's very rewarding. And it was a total shock. You had no idea no, that, that no she idea. was out there. No. You called it a, a fling with a, another actor what, well, nearly no, 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah, so. yeah, it was, uh, it was a girlfriend and that part never, I never knew about it. I went off to work in the theatre and uh, the girlfriend went off to work in her theatre and uh, th that was the end of it, really, so... It sounds like you've really worked hard to navigate things with uh, your wife and, and daughter Sophie oh, yeah. and, and your newfound daughter and, mm. and grandson and that it's all blending together as, as well as it could. Yeah, you're right. My wife has been a tremendous uh, help in this direction and she's been extremely supportive without that I don't think I could have managed um, quite honestly but uh, no because of uh, Jill's uh, reaction and her ability to understand has been a remarkable achievement on all our behalves. That sense of positivity sounds very like a certain Derek Trotter. Yeah, I'm afraid it does, yeah. Never stop believing, eh, bruv? Never stop believing. That Derek Trotter thing, who's like a, a bit of a ghost that comes along behind me, like a Christmas carol. That's interesting that you're calling Del Boy a bit of a ghost in yeah. your life. Well, do, do you feel you're, you're a bit haunted by him? Well, haunted is perhaps to no. He's with me all the time, meaning whether we call it haunted. I, I, I do say that he's on my back all the time because wherever I go, people uh, recognise me as the character and you'll always get people saying, you know, lovely jubbly and all of that, which uh, only hangs me back, only upsets me slightly, is because that seems to be the only thing that people uh, remember me for. And that, uh, I'm, I'm delighted in one way that it's reached so many people and they've enjoyed what I've done with the character. But I've done so many other things that they seem, everybody seems to have forgotten about. And it's only, I've only ever played Derek Trotter. I think we're on a winner here, three. All right, play it nice and cool, son. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? My real uh, disappointment or regret, if you like, whichever way you want to put it, was I always wanted 
because when I was in the theatre, was to be a national theatre player. I always wanted to be on the stage of the national theatre. On the South Bank? Yeah. It was the, just, just that romantic image of playing those, in those big productions with all those big, wonderful actors. And uh, it, it, that never, never happened, so... It's never too late. Yes, well, I wonder whether the old memory would be quite good enough, you know? I could do it with one of those, um, what you call it, the... Um, oh, the autocue monitor. thing. Autocue. Yeah, some of yeah. them do that now, yeah. don't they, for being prompted? Yes. Yeah, good. Hey, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, National Theatre, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> so, David Jason, fantastic talking to you on Breakfast as ever. Thank Please. you so much for your time. Thank you very much, John. Yeah. I mean, they'd be mad not to sign him up, wouldn't they? He's brilliant, isn't he? He still loves it. He That's still, the thing. and he's still ambitious. Yeah, eighty-four, I think he is, nearly eighty-five. Wow! But he still just exudes this absolute joy about the business he loves. And you know, we tend to think of him as as a TV star, but he's an actor. Yeah, he's a uh, character as he clearly, actor, you know, yeah, that, clearly that's what wants he to loves. say. Yeah. And interesting, he says he's a little bit haunted by Del Boy. But yeah. you watch those clips, and they are so good. Yeah, I know. And, and you know, but it must get a bit of annoying. Somebody says, "Lovely, jobly to you." 20 times no, a day, everywhere you go. surely not. <laughs> yeah, I think they would. <laughs> I love the way you match jackets with him, the yeah, tweed. It's all thought through. So yes. All thought through. Uh,